This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system. And it shall come to pass, in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. This word that I just caught from God right now, listen, it's powerful, but it's also just, it's a wake-up call. It's God gave me the words, this is the final call. This is the final call to turn to Jesus Christ, the one who can give you eternal life, the only one who can give you eternal life. I noticed that God was just very, very, very angry. He was so big and strong, like his anger is very terrifying. It is something that you just don't even know how to respond. It's just very scary, his anger. Jesus, you know, looked back at me and he said, he's going to be sending me anytime. And he said, he's had enough. He is so mad at the world. He said, he is going to send me anytime. There are no prophecies left to be fulfilled for the rapture to take place, which means it could take place at any moment. It could take place tonight, it could take place tomorrow. And really, in honest, in all honesty, it is really not our business to try to decipher when the rapture of the church is going to take place. We should just be ready and watching and waiting. We should be sober and vigilant. We should be waiting for the coming of the Lord. And at the same time, the rapture of the church is the next great event on the calendar of God. What in the world? And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. 
President Trump has begun his revenge in the wake of his impeachment trial. Yesterday, he ousted the two witnesses who provided some of the most damaging testimony against him. Gordon Sondland, the ambassador to the European Union, and Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman, who was the top Ukraine expert on the White House's National Security Council, were both removed from their post on Friday. This comes two days after the president was acquitted by the Senate. President Trump is not backing down after ousting two witnesses who testified at his impeachment hearings. Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vidman was escorted off White House grounds late Friday. Not long after, Vidman's twin brother was dismissed from his White House post. A few hours later, EU Ambassador Gordon Sundland also announced he was fired. Breaking news, a powerful storm system is leaving a path of destruction from the Florida Panhandle to Virginia. There are reports tonight of 10 tornadoes in the Carolinas. At least three people have been killed. More than 100,000 customers are without power. And states of emergency have been declared in parts of Virginia, West Virginia, and North Carolina. Tonight, everyone who lives near rivers and lakes in the Tennessee Valley is being warned to prepare for flooding. Janet Shamlian leads us off tonight from Spartan. We begin here in London where the cleanup has begun after Storm Kiera violently swept through the UK this weekend. Britain took the brunt of the storm on Sunday with two and a half months of rainfall falling in just 24 hours and winds reaching 100 miles per hour. The storm caused significant damage with downed power lines, flying debris and severe flooding. Some 20,000 homes spent the night without power. Dozens of flights in Northwest Europe were canceled as a result, as conditions were deemed unsafe. The storm is now moving eastwards toward mainland Europe. Five people have died from weather-related incidents so far. I confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Hello, my beloved brothers and sisters. I have a message from the Lord Jesus Christ and God the Father that is very urgent. Without delay, I will begin. I heard God the Father, and he said with a shout, Cast him down. And when he said this, there was so much thunder in his voice. It was so powerful. He said, Cast him down. And immediately after he said this, following, I heard Jesus speak. And he said, Let her give birth, that my people may ever be present with me never to leave my arms, nor be separated from me ever. The moment you've waited for, the moment my bride has set aside this world for, to forever be with their king. Yes, the harpazo is here, knocking on the doors for the whole world to hear. Not only are these signs visible to believers, but non-believers know these events are unexplainable. This isn't climate change. There's something more to this, they say. Yes, it is the great I am shaking the foundations of the earth, saying, wake up, world. The Messiah is coming. You who are asleep, awaken. You who are awake, stay awake. Now isn't the time to sleep, but watch. It isn't the time to sleep, but occupy. Have I not told you this time called grace is ending? Cast him down. Let her bring forth the child, that my people may ever be present with me, Yeshua. My first confirmation number was 747, which means Alpha, Prince, and Leader. My second confirmation number was 133, which means Host and Command. Thank you all so very much for watching. I pray that this video and message from our Lord Jesus Christ and God our Father blessed you all and encouraged you all. If you are wondering what do I use for my numbers definitions, I use Strong's Concordance and Bible Will. These are websites on google.com. And if you are wondering how do I receive my confirmation numbers, either the Trinity drops it on my spirit 
or I look at the time that I received the message. And that's going to conclude this video, my dear brothers and sisters. Whether I see you all in the next one or in the kingdom of heaven, I shall see you all again. God bless, stay vigilant, and keep occupying. Shalom. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is.